Well, curb stoners are known to scam car buyers looking for a good deal. They park cars along the sides of busy roads, selling beat up, even stolen vehicles. But even everyday sellers are breaking the laws by selling cars in this way. News 13 Scott Daniels is live in the Newsplex with that story. Dean, it's illegal, and if you're doing it, cops are out to get you. They're warning sellers with these yellow and green stickers, and they could lead to big fines. You can't sell the vehicle like this. This man was trying to sell his van on the side of the road. He saw a dirt lot here with other cars up for sale and dropped it off posted for $2,000. But if he keeps it here, his profits will take a hit. Just for parking it like this, no insurance is three forty-five. dollars no registration is another couple hundred bucks. According to state law, it's illegal to sell a vehicle here or here or anywhere if you don't have permission to be there. It doesn't matter how prime the real estate is. Yes, I'm calling about your Ford truck on the side of the road for sale. Detective Matthew Morales of the Auto Theft Division is combing Albuquerque, looking for illegal sales. He says they're protecting the buyer from wasting thousands. Who do you go after if the car breaks down, has some safety issues? Um, where do you get your money back? Some customers don't care. They come here knowing they're getting a junker. I'm not looking for a, a, a Lexus or a BMW. Mike Leonard thinks he's getting a steal. I'm going to check his title. I'm going to check the serial number on the door. But what he'll be getting could be stolen. Gil Boers of the Independent Auto Dealers Association says the law is being broken more and more every day. And buyers like Leonard need to steer clear of the dirt lots because they don't hold the guarantees that certified sellers have. He could be purchasing this vehicle uh, and, and it, it could have engine or transmission problems and he has no recourse. They've not done any safety inspection check on it. They don't even know the vehicle themselves. And taxes are a factor too. The post office employee's car needs to be registered with the state, have proper insurance and even a license plate. Just figured I got it, make a few dollars on it and and now I didn't know it was illegal to park it on the side with all the other 15 cars that were here. So, <laughs> And even banks aren't safe. During the ride along, the auto theft unit found a couple of cars for sale at a credit union in southwest, uh, southeast Albuquerque. But since you need a permit to sell more than four cars in a year, they too got a warning. Dean, back to you. All right, Scott, thank you. After it was all said and done, APD dished out 28 warnings and citations to cars being sold around the city illegally.